Hello Scorpio, what's so up? Welcome back to the Illust Illuminator. We're gonna check in with your energy and see what is going on for you. What are the messages for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising? If you resonate with this reading, there will be an extended at the end of this video. All right. Well, isn't that Saturn retrograde in Pisces? We've got the High Priestess and the World card. So it came out in the reverse. So yes, a lot of you are going to a, to a period where you feel a little bit disconnected from the source, disconnected from your intuition or you didn't listen to your intuition properly and now it's kind of like catching up on you. Um, a lot of you are also dealing with a lot of past pain or some past secrets from way back that are starting to bottle up, all right? These are trauma triggers, things that really come up to the surface, things that you have been uh, pushing away or you've not really paid attention in the past couple of years because you just wanted to forget about it. So that's like the avoidant type of energy of Pisces, Pisces that has been coming through lately in a lot of these people and a lot of people. So I think that um, when these energies coming through, you are really being asked to stop self-sacrificing, to really follow your intuition, even if that feels shameful or you need to confess something or you need to add on to something or even accept for yourself that something has happened that you need to pay attention to. So this is going to be a very special energy that comes through that could obviously also create some type of chaos or, um, you know, an inner struggle as well. Of like, no, I don't want this. And, you know, like something really pushing you inside and saying like, no, this cycle needs to end. This has been a karmic cycle. Follow through with your intuition. So you're being protected around this time. So if you felt that things from the past, things from way back, even from your parents or ancestors, things are coming through that have been blocking you, then take that as a, as a reason why things have been not going so well in your life or some areas of your life have been a little bit blocked. Yes, exactly. Look at that. We've got rest and rejuvenation. That is you needing to take the time off to think things through, to really think about things that have happened maybe in the past 30 years, if you pass that age, um, in the past year even <clears throat> for some of you. But this feels like it's a rooted thing, okay? I got like all trees here. <clears throat> so this is all about roots and it could also be in regards to family. It could be in regards to your own personality and the way that you've been growing or personally kind of like opening yourself up to a new type of world but you still have some type of a past that's kind of like trying to catch up with you right uh, you have the financial and material changes so yes a lot of you have been feeling disregarded maybe even lonely or you didn't feel like you had enough people around you that were supportive caring um, could be even parent that was going through a lot of financial loss or you could have been uh, kind of like growing up in some type of poverty in one way or the other. Could have been poverty in the soul, right? Not getting enough love or support. But it could also really be real poverty that really, you know, put some type of <clears throat> scar within you, right? That's what I'm picking up on. So it could be different for each and every one of you. but. The most important thing here is that things are being rectified. We've got the justice card there, which is um, all about balance and receiving back all that you deserve, but you never could get it, all right? The justice card is usually the universe looking over you and saying like, hey, you've, done, you've been done some injustice in your life. Things didn't go well. However, you are being monitored and, and whatever you've lost, it's going to be returning back to you. And for many of you, it has to do with soulmate contracts. So um, it could be in relationship, but it could also be in friends or family. You know, um, sometimes we have family, but they're not really good family, right? You know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's very, um, it just feels like very, very emotional. I don't know. Soul family. That's what I'm hearing spirits say. Like, it's all about your soul family. 
And you're, you're about to get like some type of spiritual union here. Someone that understands you, feels you, gets you in a very emotional way. Someone that can balance things out, um, which is very important. Very, very important. Longing for home, belonging, the original light workers. Yeah, this is the belonging. You're being called, or someone is even being called towards you. There's definitely a very deep soul connection here that I'm uh, picking up on. And a lot of you may have not met this person yet. Okay, this is a soul contract. This is a new soul contract that is coming in. I'm definitely going to clarify a little bit deeper into it in the extended, but. For now, I just want you to know that you have a double mission. You both have a double mission in uplifting humanity, in doing the right thing, in following your own voice, doing things out of morality, teaching to a great amount of people where your values should be. And I feel like the person that you are going to connect to, that could be in, in, in regards to career as well, could be in regards to relationships, or friendships, right? Or even family, it doesn't matter. Both of you are coming together in order to achieve something in this world. And this is definitely divinely guided here. It's very, um, it's very deep. What else? Ooh, we got another divine law. There you go, things going in your favor. You might not see it right now, but the sort of truth is gonna come out, meaning that if you felt like someone was lying about you or was doing you injustice, creating a gossip or trying to cut you off from, from a partnership, whatever that might be for you in your case, the law is seeing this, or like the universal law, obviously, right? And for others of you, it might be that, that you may need to take things to, to court as well. I mean, it, it depends on where you are, but look at this, it's the same energy, like, okay, the, the Two of Cups and the Justice came out, right? And we have the Divine Law with the Twin Flame. I mean, it's like a wow. How can you get that exact same cards coming through? Let go of the need to know, so some of you could be very much in this headspace of like, okay, I need to know who this is and if that person is that person, which one is it? Like there could be a lot of overthinking and spirit is kind of like saying like, let go of the need to know because you will spoil the, the serendipity of this, uh, of this happening, right? You know, it, it reminds me of something It reminds me of a, of a story that happened, I think, two years ago or one year ago. And I heard from a friend of a friend that someone had, um, or their friend had like suicide themselves. And I didn't know that person at all. But I felt very touched by, by, by this happening. And um, I remember one day I was at my house and all of a sudden his energy the Passover energy came to me and said like, you are going to be a very, very close friend to someone that has been very, very close to me. And literally I was like, whoa, that's, that's such a big message. So I start to really like overthink and like, is it that person, is it that person? And at one point I even like asked randomly, uh, like, do you know this person that passed over? And they were like, mm, no, never heard of it. And I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to let it go and I'll see what happens. And guess what? That person, she is now my best friend. And this, this whole message really brought us together and really connected us as if we were like past life um, connection. And we will never, never, never let each other go because there is such a deep bond here. So I think that this is something like that. That's why I felt like a little bit emotional because I feel like the same thing is about to happen to you. Um, not well, not maybe in the same 
in the same scene, but there is something like an inner knowing. Your intuition is is telling you something, and it feels like weird, and you have to just let go of the thought of what that is or who that is, and it shall come to you. All right. Uh, you are going through some type of storm or you have been, right? And this is a firestorm. So that's a lot about heavy energies. It's like anger, pain, frustration, trauma, things really bottling up. And a lot of people have been going through it. Like even non-spiritual people around me have been contacting me and saying like, okay, I'm really going through stuff, right? Like what is going on? They don't even listen to astrology or tarot, but they're like, okay, it's about to go down. And this is the firestorm. I feel a lot of Mars energy for uh, everyone, especially for you. Um, this is all about like having or going through a mental breakdown, but you're coming up on top of it. So by the time that you're reading this or you're receiving the message, you have already passed through that firestorm and you're so much stronger on the other side. However, spirit wants you to know that you need to listen to your intuition. Okay, because this has been a karmic release. So spirit does not really want to go into that karmic release for you right now, but I do have other videos on my channel that do talk about this karmic ending that has been going on for the collective. So make sure that you check that reading out. And obviously we're going to check in with, with your extended, but yes, this has been a very major role and team in the collective as well and i'm hearing like a something in my ear the dragonfly light-hearted and adept finding out and change things coming to light to heal that's what i'm talking about this firestorm don't get scared of it it's coming above so you can heal from it and you can move forward there is a lot of change but it's all on the you know it's the tip of the iceberg and you you may not see what type of changes is going to bring. You may fear that it's going to be on a negative sense, but it's not, it's a positive change, okay? Just keep on listening to your intuition. And yes, you are the dragonfly. So if you start to see dragonflies, that, that is an indication that you're going through a positive change. And that's some things that have been hidden by yourself, all right? Or within yourself are coming to light for you to heal. It's not always like, okay, that person is deceiving me and that's coming to light. No, sometimes we go through things that we have been stuffed up uh, in the past and that's coming to the service for you to go through the healing. And that is Pisces energy with the Pisces full moon. Stop self-sacrificing ourselves just to, you know, keep on the mask. Just, you know, if you need to heal, if something comes up, you feel uncertain or you feel uncomfortable it still needs to come through so you can heal properly from it and spirit will guide you to keep things in the most fair way for you all right so you are being protected right that's what i have for you scorpio let me know in the comments below and if you need the extended reading i uh, put a better price for you guys or it's going to be available for all of you and i catch you guys there take care